Don't attribute malice to what can easily be explained by legacy code or a file getting so big it filled up multiple systems causing them to run out of space and crash. And I'm not joking there. The November 18th, 2025 Cloudflare issue was not caused directly or indirectly by a cyber attack or malicious activity of any kind. It was triggered by a change to a Cloudflare database system permission, which caused the database to output multiple entries into a feature file used by their bot management system. The software running on those machines routes traffic across Cloudflare's network and reads that feature file to keep the bot management system up to date with ever-changing threats. The file was being generated every five minutes by a query running on a database cluster, which was being gradually updated to improve permissions management. Bad data was only generated if the query ran on a part of the cluster which had been updated. As a result, every five minutes, there was a chance either a good or bad set of configuration files being generated and rapidly propagated across the network. This fluctuation made it unclear to the Cloudflare engineers what was happening as the entire system would recover and then fail again as sometimes good, sometimes bad configuration files were distributed, which led Cloudflare to believe it might be caused by an attack. Credit where credit is due. We know all this because Cloudflare published a fantastic postmortem you will find linked in the description. They gave us a clear timeline, root cause, and exactly what they're doing to prevent it from happening again. Their transparency is some of the best in history and I hope others follow. But here's the bigger picture. We've now had multiple outages here in 2025 across these huge hyperscalers, not because anyone is under attack, but because complex systems can and do fail. And when a handful of hyperscalers run large portions of the modern internet, even a small bug can create a global shockwave. It's not about blaming the engineers. It's about acknowledging the risk of concentrating so much critical infrastructure into so few companies. And the myth propagated by their sales and marketing at those same large companies claiming the cloud is the only way to do this. Just something to consider when you're looking at how much of your infrastructure you want to build on top of someone else's platform. Check out the Cloudflare postmortem link down below and also check out my cloud tipping point to talk about other ways to do this. Maybe owning your own hardware, giving you more control of your data and maybe not being dependent on some of these cloud companies quite so much. Thanks.